Hey Desmond Du here, today I have another avant-garde After Effects technique for you. We are going to use text layer as particles. So let's begin. In After Effects, hit Command N to create a new composition. I'm going to do Full HD 24 frames per second, call this Composition Demo and do it for 5 seconds. And I'm going to use my Type tool and click on the middle of Composition. I'm going to type a pipe symbol by holding the Shift backslash key and I can type it several times. Or I can use my animation preset called Repeater. So to learn more about this animation preset, you can watch my previous tutorial. The link is in the description below. All right, once we create our repeated text, I'm gonna create a mass, a perfect circle in the middle. And uh, let's see, let's align it in the middle using our align panel. Turn off the mass uh, to none. And then we're gonna open up our text, uh, text layer and go into path options and set it to mass one. So this will align our characters to our path. We can click, uh, make sure perpendicular to path is on and we can click force alignment. And if you want to adjust anything, you can uh, mess around with the first margin just to make everything perfect. Uh, okay, let's close the path option. We're gonna set our first uh, text animator. First of all, we want to put in scale. We want it to grow from zero to nothing in the y-axis as uncheck constraint proportion set a keyframe here around one second and then we're going to set it to zero and frame zero all right so it's just going to grow it's not the prettiest but uh let's call this base we also want this uh let's go back out command minus and we also want this we want to rotate it we want to make each character 3d so go to properties Enable character 3D, and we're gonna go into properties and add in a rotation. Set it to 90, so it's facing us. And then after that, you can mess around with the other rotation settings as well. So this is uh, our base setup. We're gonna create another text animator, and we're gonna go and create a scale, and we're gonna name this offset. So we're gonna offset the length of the scale, and then we're gonna uncheck constraint proportion as always. So we're gonna set it to 500. And then uh, we can open up the range selector over on advanced, click on randomize order, option click on the random seed because uh, we're gonna create a slider control to offset, to, to change uh, our seed. So let's select a text layer, go to effect, expression control, slider control, rename this to seed. And then I am going to select this bunch of text, pick with it to the slider control. All right, now I can just change my seed value from the effects panel. Very handy. And I'm gonna change the back into range selector. I'm gonna change the, the shape to round. And then I can change the ease high. Maybe 500 is not enough. So let's crank it up to about, I guess 3000 is fine. So we get variation in the size, in the, in the length of the pipe symbol, we can add uh, a fill so we can see like what is uh, what's the intensity of the character being affected uh, shortcut command shift H to hide the handles all right so that seems pretty good so our setup is there so if I were to play it now you just shift slash to fit the screen okay so we have everything growing at different length okay and then I am going to duplicate this offset, go inside and delete my fill and scale and add in a position property instead. And uh, I am going to animate. Okay, instead of animating, we're going to create a slider control to animate our position. We're going to animate just the Z axis. I'm going to rename this slide control to just Z and option click on the stopwatch. Uh, I like to just have everything in, this, in the effects control so it's just easier to manipulate and see what uh, what is being animated. So Z is equals to peak whip slider control semicolon. And let me just open this up. Semicolon. And then I'm going to type in uh, square bracket 0 comma 0 z, comma Z. Okay, cool. So I can just animate it from here. I don't need to open up my text, uh, my text animator or text layer. I'm going to go to frame zero, set a keyframe for the value of zero, 
go down to maybe two seconds and I'm gonna go to in the negative axis so somewhere like negative 7500 let's round it up okay let's play it nice so we can even just speed that uh, speed things up uh, but that's fine for now uh, everything is of constant uh, width we want to change that so actually, let me rename this offset to text animator to go to be pause for position. We'll open up uh, our offset, and we're gonna change our scale of the X to maybe about yeah, that seems fine. Three hundred. And if you want, you can actually create a point uh, and a slide control to connect all this scale over here in the effects control panel. But we won't be doing that for now. And then now let's color it. Let's go into uh, our text animator again, fill color, RGB. So for our base color, we're going to use uh, a blue like this. So let's call it C1. And I'm going to duplicate that uh, color text animator, open up range selector. I'm just going to set N to 25. So it's only selecting 25% of our character. Set it to randomize order. And again, random C. That's pick with it to the slider control okay so for this second color we're going to use is uh, we're going to use red okay so you can see yes we have uh, characters some characters are in red and we're going to duplicate that and we're going to change another color so let's do like a lime green like this don't be too bright so let's uh, make it more yellowish like that and we're gonna add in another color. Let's do orange this time around. And maybe for the last one, we can have, let's see, we can use, do we have red? That purple seems pretty cool. All right, let's do that. Uh, and then, so we're pretty much done by now. Let's stylize uh, this, the design of our bar. So let me actually just freeze frame in the middle over here so let's give it a black stroke we can go to layer layer style and we can add a stroke and uh, we can add black but then here's the thing about let's close this text uh, option first the thing about using stroke if i change it black is that everything it's uh it's not because our our character is not being stretched proportionally you can see like the sides are, uh the stroke are at the sides are thicker than the one at the top right kind of kind of it depends and then also it's not sharp so we're not not going to use stroke we're going to use an our layer style and i'm going to use let's see outer glow yes outer glow i discovered this by accident so if you were to change outer glow color to black and you change the size to two and then you can also change the range to about 30 get this very nice stylized uh, stroke that's like not too obvious yeah, and there you go. That's how you create stroke by using outer glow. And maybe you want to go into in our layers now, drop in uh, inner shadow. Let's close the outer glow. Let's drop in inner shadow, change the blending mode to soft light, increase the size. No, let's increase the noise. So we can get some radiation over here. And then we can, let's see, play with the distance or we can play with the size. Yes. Let's play it, put the size at about 20. Now that's too much, so 10. That's, a, that's about right. Yes. All right, so let's play this. Cool. Let's press U and just shift this keyframe forward. Play it again. And we're done. This is how we use uh, text as particles. And uh, well, Instead of just using the pipe symbol, there's many other ways we can we can use other characters. Let's see. So for example, we can type in option J. If you type in option J on a Mac, right, you get the triangle symbol and you get instantly, well, triangle symbol shooting at you. Uh, and then we can also use other symbol like the interpunk symbol, option shift nine, and you get dots. Or in this case, they kind of look like squares. It's the middle dot symbol, option shift 9. 
and uh, if you and over here there's we can use other different font uh, typeface uh, and in this case I have a bunch uh, for you guys over here so I basically type in uh, I copy I went to in the internet and just copy a chunk of all this Unicode basically all the letters uh, and then after that, I just changed the font to uh, Windings. So this is Windings tree, and you can see we have a bunch of many interesting symbols over here, lots of arrows. Let's look at Windings number two. We have the finger, we have a trash can, we have a plus sign, we have also like some primitive shapes. So maybe if I were to, maybe I like this X symbol. I'm going to switch my type to just copy it and go back to my demo over here and just change to X. Oh, okay. That's fun. It's a little bit too large, but at least we have got some interesting variation going on. And then let's see. Uh, let's go back into my com, my back com. And also I have uh, windings, uh, windings one as well. A bunch of there's many different symbols. We can also, if you go to use Hafler text, right? We get more, if you use Hafler, Hafler ornament over here, Hafler text, ornament uh, family. Wait, is that right? Anyway, <laughs> uh, so Hafler text will give you like lots of different ornaments as well uh, for you to explore. And uh, let's see, this is for, this is Bod uh, Bodoni. Yeah, this is, I think this is, I think, oh, sorry. The previous one was Bodoni Ornaments and the other one is uh, Hefler. And if you go into the font.com and you can, I download this font called Planet. You can use Planet as well. So maybe I like this, uh, I see this sun over here. So I'm going to use my type to select it. Go into my com and just change it up. There we go. <laughs> it's not very pretty, but... Uh, can see the possibilities are infinite right let's play that lots of sun shooting at you and uh, let me close this demo okay and then we can go uh, so instead of this and in instead of using the planets we there's also butterflies fonts so again if you go into your internet right you can just download them Vulcan scripts uh, this very abstract circular font cycles yeah so you can find them all on on the top ding bad so you can just search for them okay so back over here let's go back to yeah it says select one so I think I like whatever this is going on so let me just select a random one like this one over here go into my preview not my demo and just play it and put it there shift slash to fit the screen and it's already fit let's play it so right now obviously there's too many going on you just want to just tone it down to like 10 right that's okay so enough of those dingbats uh let's actually get back into career finishing this animation let's duplicate our text layer and just to create some variation just shift a few frames down and then I'm going to give it about 30 characters maybe change the C to change the variation of the length and the width and I'm going to open it up to my text uh, my text layer and I'm going to go to offset and just change my scale to about 85 you know just change it up and I'm going to do the same thing duplicate it shift a few frames and then I am going to actually increase the character count to 300. And then I'm going to open up my text animator, go into my base, no, go into my offset and change the scale to one and maybe the length to even higher, like 5,000. Let's play it and see what happens. So as you can see, the possibility are endless. Yeah, I think for those last two layers, I need to uh, increase the Z position to kind of animate them all completely out but you guys get the idea thank you for watching this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it 